Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I have posted a video because our summer has been super busy, plus it gets really hot here, so our projects have been really slow moving, but it's starting to cool down slightly and I'm nearing the finish line of a couple projects that I'm in the middle of, and I'm really excited to share with you today's video, and that is my kitchen organization. This video has been months in the making. The first thing we did in this kitchen, we did back in April, um, and we have just now <laughs> reached a point that it is pretty much complete. There is a lot to show you in this video, so let's get right into it. The first thing I wanted to do was add this water drop filter to the sink in our kitchen so we could eliminate the bulky Brita pitchers on the counter or in the fridge. I called my dad over to help me with this because I'd never done anything with plumbing before, but it's a pretty simple process. All you have to do is attach the cold water line to both sides of the filter. We then attached it to the back using command strips, making this a renter friendly project. I started the organization process with these over the door hangers. I needed something that could keep our Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, and any other items like that. What I liked about these ones is on the other side, it has a towel bar, which you can't see, but you'll see later in this video. And that gave us a space to hang our hand towels. Once that was sorted, I started tackling the cabinet under the sink. Now this sink keeps all of our cleaning supplies for the kitchen, as well as our garbage bags and dog food. So we had a lot to keep and store. And with a big cabinet like this, I needed to bring in drawers so that way we can separate things and use the storage vertically. For the bulkier items that didn't fit in the drawers, I just put them on the floor of the cabinet. It's not the most elegant solution, but we didn't need the space for anything else, so it works for now. And on the other door, I got another one of these door hangers. It's a little bit different than the first one, but from the front, the towel bars look exactly the same. And in this one, I'm keeping all of my cutting boards. The fridge was the next thing I wanted to tackle. It didn't necessarily need organization, but with all of the stuff that we had on it, it was looking very visually cluttered. So I cleaned everything off and I am putting a clear acrylic calendar as well as a menu board. And now we move on to the drawers. As you can see, this drawer started off as a cluttered mess of utensils, but we are turning it into our knife drawer. I'm not the biggest fan of chunky knife blocks that sit on top of the countertop because they take up valuable space. And in this kitchen, we needed to keep that counter space. So I found a knife storage on Amazon. It fit 
perfectly into this drawer, like the exact size of the drawer. And while it doesn't fit our knives exactly, this is made for a set of prep knives as well as steak knives, and we don't have steak knives. It works well enough, and I was able to keep the two sets of knives that we have separate. Moving on to the biggest drawer in our kitchen, I did have this one utensil holder that I got from Target when we first moved in, but as you could see, it did not hold everything in this drawer. So I found a second one at Goodwill. It's not in the best condition, but I cleaned it up and it's going to work just fine and it allowed me to save money and use something secondhand and that'll keep all of our silverware. Then I repurposed the second storage piece to hold all of our small kitchen utensils. You're gonna see the items in this drawer move around a lot as I try to figure out what orientation of storage will work best. empty space next to the coffee maker and I really wanted to utilize that for storage so I found these magnetic shelves on Amazon and I'm using it for all of my husband's coffee items as well as all of my tea stuff. Now moving on to our cabinets, and let me tell you, I struggled with this cabinet. The way that these cabinets are situated, it is really hard to get things working functionally. So you'll watch me struggle, and then I will come on to give you an explanation for how it all turned out. So I didn't film it, but I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up doing for the pots and pans. So the pots are the same as how I had it when I filmed. Um, I've got some Dutch ovens back there and this here and it's, you gotta move stuff out of the way to get the big pot back there, but it is what it is. And then the pans, so what I had to do is I had to set this guy up this way and have the pans sitting like that because the way that this cabinet is i don't know if i can show you but you see like there's the drawer bottom and then over here there's a lot of space and in a perfect world i would move this shelf or do something with it but since it goes all the way back there and it has those same clips as the um upper shelves it was gonna be too much work to try to get it out and deal with it. Like I couldn't even pull it out of here to move it down. It would just, I, no, there's no way. Um, so it's gonna have to stay where it is and this works. It's a little tough cause I have to move stuff out of the way to get things out. But um, this is the best solution that I had for the type of cabinets that we have. I am a big supporter of drawers on the bottom because then you don't have to move stuff out of the way to get things that you need. But yeah, that's the setup. 
And coming back to that idea of getting things up off the countertop, I found this adhesive paper towel holder on Amazon and I'm just putting this under the cabinet that is to the left of our sink and it works out perfectly as a renter friendly option. In the upper cabinets is where I keep some of my most used ingredients. So in this cabinet, I have vinegars and oils. You'll see me later in this video adjusting these shelves so I can better fit these ingredients. But first off, I'm gonna just sort them all. And I really wanted to move my baking items to a different part of the kitchen so I could clear out this shelf and give us more usable storage. We moved all of my baking stuff to the cabinet above the fridge because I don't bake that often and it's still accessible but I can just pull it out when I need it. And these Ikea bins on top of the fridge hold all of my baking extras like sprinkles and my hand mixer. This cabinet was a tough one to deal with. The way that these pegs that hold the shelf in are built is you have to push the top in in order to lift the shelf out. And because of the size of the shelf, it was really difficult to manage but I really wanted to lift the bottom shelf so that way I could fit everything I wanted to onto the Lazy Susans, as well as have more room to get my spices in and out. But oh man, was adjusting this shelf the biggest struggle of this kitchen. the top in uh, and there's two here two here and one here anything i can do to help i don't know did it come out easy <laughs> kind of Once I got the cabinet sorted, I needed to find a place to keep my handheld strainer and my pasta spider. So I used some command hooks on the back of the cabinet door because that was the best place to have them. The last cabinet I needed to organize was our cups. I first started by cleaning everything up and getting things out that I didn't want in there. And then I added some bottle organizers for all of our travel cups.
Okay, so now that all of the areas of the kitchen are organized and I have been working on this kitchen for months now, from the beginning to now, has been months, um, we can go ahead and add stuff to the countertops, do some finishing touches, and make it look cute. I added two towels to our towel bars, one for drying hands and a decorative one. Pretty jars for our most used grains on the counter. As well as some for the coffee station. I use this decorative tray to corral everything I need on hand when I cook. this butter dish to have softened butter at hand for toast in the mornings or garlic bread for dinner. Okay, so I have been on the hunt for a replacement storage container for our utensils, our cooking utensils. My preference would be to put them in a drawer, but we just don't have enough drawer space in this kitchen to be able to do that. So I wanted to find something that's cute and it's big enough to hold all of the cooking utensils that we have. And it was really hard to find something. Um, everything that I found was really small or it just, more farmhousey than I tend to decorate towards. So I had an idea. I went to Home Goods and I found a planter. So yeah, I found this in the outdoor section at Home Goods. I loved the size of it and I really liked the color. Um, it really worked with the other things that I was bringing into the home and into the kitchen. So I thought that it would work perfectly. to keep my rings for when I'm cooking. A basket to hold garlic and onions. And some flowers to brighten up the place.
I am so happy that this kitchen is finally organized. It has made cooking and doing anything in here really so much faster and easier than it was before, having to rifle through drawers and pull things out of the cabinets to get something else. It was just a mess and it is so much nicer now. Now, I don't think this kitchen is 100% done. I am not entirely happy with the rugs that we have in here. You probably saw them in the video and I'm sure you think the same thing. So those will probably change out. I feel like we need some more stuff on some of the walls in here. And I'm sure that there's more that I'll think of that I'll wanna put in here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.